Hey guys, it's Drive Out to the Five on Eight here. I'm gonna actually review the first two episodes of the new anime reboot. That's right, reboot. Sailor Moon was the anime, obviously, created in the 1990s. This series is meant to follow the manga. Remember, the manga of the of the same name. This follows the style of the manga and combines a little bit of the original series with more to what the manga told. The animation has been updated, the transformation machines look gorgeous. As we all know, the first episode is Usagi in Standard Moon, her origin of getting her powers. Usagi was chosen by Luna the Cat, as we all know, as her guide to this, tell the story of the Moon Guardians, a group of races from another planet, and that she is actually the Moon Princess. And her job is to find the Silver Crystal, which is the piece of power that gives them protection and, you know, energy from the Dark Kingdom of the Negaverse. While being a crybaby, as usual, she runs into Darien, as we all know, as Tuxedo Mask, and her ways of dealing with her newfound powers. She's a crybaby, I know I said that, she's a failure, she's a klutz, she is stupid. She's, you know, she's cowardly, but, you know, when it calls for it, she has to, you know, I guess I'd say man up, but, you know, girl up, I guess you could say, to fight crime. First one, I loved it, you know. Like I said, the, the, the stories were really good. It borrows from the manga. And it, it actually looks very nice. I know, I, I know I'm talking about visuals. The, the, the music was, you know, the intro music, I think, is way better than Moonlight Serenade, than Moonlight Densetsu, personally. When I heard Moonlight Densetsu, it felt more like a girl thing. I don't know if this one is too, but it had some metal to it. Yeah! Some metal! Hoorah! But, you know, metal in a cutesy show, I mean, come on. I've heard rock and roll from Squid Girl and Mo and Cool Heart and from Black Rock Shooter. But they're nothing. They're, they are just as crazy and musically accompanying than this one. Uh, the characters are likable. We all know Usagi is a big wimp. But I get, I, before what I've seen from the first episode, you people, I'm seeing a pattern. I'm seeing that she'll get her courage the more she opens up to her friends. Hopefully she can hit the books because, you know, she, we all remember she's not good at school. She plays video games. She's lazy. She's Her biggest idol was Sailor V. And even though she mentioned here, like the original series. What can I say about the first episode of Sailor Moon? I loved it. I may not like the original series. Again, sorry to disappoint you all, but that's my opinion. This all does the original episode, even though I didn't like the Toonami dub as well either. I still like this. I love this episode. Five out of five for Sailor Moon. Again, I go with the English accent again. I gotta stop that. Come on, J5, stop. I give it five out of five. Now let's go to the second episode named Ami Hanuno, which, if you know that name, means Mercury. The second episode is going to turn episode two. Episode two has it where we, we first we know about, you know, Ami Hanuno. Um, she, she's the smartest girl in class. She gets time to study. She's very. She's smart, she's sometimes quirky, you know, Usagi opens up her, gets her to have fun, she's very cautious of what she does, and I like the way. Uh, also, trivia for Sailor Moon fans, originally the, the, the original manga writer wanted her to be a cyborg, but felt like it didn't match, so originally they made her human, but have the IQ of a robot, having her have like a 300 IQ, smarter than Einstein, so that's why they call it the intelligence of the group. And the uh, one of the synthetic of the of the four or five group. The story of this one is that in a yeah, Jedi or Nephite, one of the original soldiers of the Dark Kings of the Kingdom, are sent by Queen Burl once again to to get the life force from the human beings so they can get the silver crystal to destroy the Sailor Scouts and to rule the world. <laughs> The story it has here is with a cursed disc, a program that all the students use in a special lab course, which Center Moon, which Mercury gets hypnotized. From that, after beating the game in an arcade, as usually the way they won their pens in the manga, you know, she gets, and Center Moon, when she transforms, she comes to save the day from the evil. But then Luna gives the advice, you know, still to Serena before that, that she must find all the Sailor Scout companions to save the day. Again, great. I'm not going to explain why, because I mentioned the first episode already a couple minutes ago, what I thought. Still very good. I like Ami's personality. You know, I like that they got her to be the, the bookworm slash sympathetic smart one of the group, even though the group has not been formed, nearly fully formed yet. They got the process flowing. I like that they got the mentality of the show flowing. I like that they're 
starting with not just having Sailor Moon and the original, just meet them all and they become serious. Because I like that they're taking their time, developing the characters and dialogue. The dialogue was really good in both episodes. I mean, I like how they're taking it one at a time to let people who don't know much, who are not maybe not, may not have time to watch, but those who are not fast to catch up, understand how it goes, people. I like how it slowly gathers into this this mass of, not, of what's going on in the story. The visuals, again, are beautiful with this 3D rendered and 2D animation. They're very nice. Um, the story, you know, is a continuation as is going on with the series. I, I, I'm, I can't wait to what happens next, people. I mean, who knows what happened when they all came together, when they all group. I want to see how they can react to other enemies and see what they can do next. Maybe they can have, they can one-up the little arguments and the squabbles they have. You know, I'm just saying what they can do with this reboot, and I'm thinking they could do the impossible, maybe. They could do some... I'm guessing they could do a lot of things with this. Love the episode. Five out of five stars for episode two. I mean, I don't know. Oh, uh, there's just a lot I could say, people, but, you know, as much as I can tell now, I'm enjoying the show, and, hey, I look like I'm a guy. I watch anime, so I'm giving things a chance. So, J5, sign up. Comment down below, and I'm signing off. Bye-bye, guys. See ya on the other side.